Hey, what's happening guys? It is Sunday afternoon and I'm just sitting here playing around with my boost converter because why not, right? Uh, I had a question about how to change the voltage and stuff like that and uh, our good buddy Frederick from Germany showed me his video where he got 70 volts. Impressive work there, Frederick. Um, so we're going to go over some of the stuff here again. Anyway, first of all, let's just say all these jumper wires you see here are just for the measurements that I have going on. And the 5 volts that you see here is just residual charge left in the capacitor. So now I'm going to power it up. And if we take a look at the scope, you can see I'm running a 30% duty cycle at about 830K. Now, the green trace is the output of the diode. The yellow trace is the output from the 555 or the trigger the gate for our MOSFET. So if we overlay them, you can see kind of what's going on there. Now, the easiest way to change the voltage, which as you can see, I've got it at just about as low as I can get it right now at 13 volts. The easiest way to change the voltage is to adjust the duty cycle. So if I bring the duty cycle up, you can see the voltage go up. And you can also see the change on the scope. So our duty cycle right now is about 50%. And we're getting, what, 19 volts. Let's take it up a little higher. So we're now at a, what, 70% duty cycle. And we're cranking out 27 volts. Not bad. So I'm, I'm going to take it way back down here. Now, our duty cycle is not even registering because it's all off. I'm going to try and get it as low as I can here, but it's really touchy. really touchy trying to get it or it'll just kick on okay there's 40 percent. that's good enough that's just my meter getting mad at me because i haven't touched it in a while so other changes what if we change um our input frequency to the MOSFET. So I will take out this 10 puff capacitor. I think that's 10, right? Yeah, no, that's two puff. That's a two puffer. And I can put in, this is a 104, so that's what, 100 nano? This should uh, really crank things down, right? Kaboom. We got nothing because our duty cycle is basically over a second. Let's put our uh, good capacitor back in there to two puffer. Now, what if we change this capacitor here, which is basically just our, our kind of ripple protection. So let's pop that bad boy out. That was 10 micro at 25 volts. I'll put in 22 microfarad at 50 volts. Let's see what kind of change that makes. Now, 
Well, it's changed the way our waveforms look on the scope, but really hasn't had that much of a change in the, um, the voltage. So our original capacitor was 10 micro, and this one I said was what, 22? Yeah, 22, so we, we simply doubled it. What if we more than double it? What if we put in this nice meaty capacitor, 470 microfarad at 35 volts? And what are our effects going to be? Let's find out. Wow, if you look at that. Charging up. Still charging up. It's going to take a minute to charge this big, thick guy. It looks like we're going to stay at the same volt voltage or close to it. So the capacitor, like I said, is mainly for ripple protection and a little bit of boost when the switch is off. Okay. So let's unplug the circuit. Let's discharge this boy so I don't get the wee tingle, as Big Clive likes to say. And we'll put in one of these 400 volt capacitors. This is 68 nano. And this is the kind of capacitor that um, Frederick used in his video. This is a Mylar. to get my big old fingers in here she won't go captain yes she will come on you gotta be kidding me come on there we go all right let's see what kind of change that makes well as you can see not much. Everything is relatively the same. So I think that we can conclude. For, wait, nope. We have one other thing we need to change. Let's change the inductor itself. This is my hand wound one that was 4.58 millihenries. Here is another hand wound one let's bring in the meter for this one now this is much heavier gauge wire this is um, 22 gauge and this has 14 windings so let's power this guy up and see what she reads guys read that turn the light out here this thing is just not very bright yeah that's what they said about me 0 0.02 millihenries so considerably less than what we had in there before what kind of change will that make All right, let's power her back up here. And she's charging. And with the same load, the same capacitance, and the same frequency, we are getting basically the same voltage. So my conclusion from all of this which is what I originally thought, is that to change our output voltage, we need to change our frequency, or in this case, our pulse width modulation. But it's the frequency of the MOSFET being switched on and off 
and if we go to a hundred percent I can only get 15 and a half volts so our good friend Frederick wins the game and I want to thank you guys for joining me today and having this bit of fun if you like this give me a big thumbs up feel free to comment and please share one of my videos somewhere else to help grow the channel that's it goodbye